Welcome back to Dragon Finder Kingmaker. Um, I have done a little bit of reading. Uh -huh -huh -huh. And apparently, whilst this is not important right now, the hot tip out there on the internet when playing this game is set kingdom management to easy. Um, apparently normal is quite difficult and uh, I I am after all recording this so it's more about the narrative experience than a challenging playthrough so I'm going to follow that advice and set it to easy okay uh, I think That was the only thing that I really need to do then at the start of this session. All right, so we have a party. Let's continue on our journey. I'm trying to remember actually where were we heading exactly? Stolen land, Aaron's secret room. Yeah, we completed that. First step on the road to glory. Yeah. We will fail in 88 days and 14 hours. Go to the trading post. Uh, and okay. I'm assuming that's this way. Apparently you do get experience from random encounters, but I guess I just didn't get enough. The end times are nigh. Arim. Mm. I'm wondering whether or not I'll be that grateful to have Aram along if he's gonna be that moody right okay so stay on your toes I'm, I'm a little confused why there we go this seems like a much more sensible party formation yeah there we go I don't want to be at the front just because I'm the leader doesn't mean I want to be the first one to get the way stabbed seems clear. all right so this is yeah fair enough it's a bunny wabbit. Save yourselves, fools! Alright. Bandits. In the name of the stag lord, <laughs> the lawful authority in the stolen lands, we demand this week's tax and some beer. Oh, where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should serve us dinner. Quiet down, Dimwit. Oleg, we're just here for the Stag Lord's tax. Hand over the money and we'll be on our way. <laughs> you want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you can control everything around here just because you put up that painted rag of yours? You come here, squeeze us dry and come with... Oleg, a large man with a rough face, stops talking when he notices you. Ah, you must be the guest from Rostov. Alright, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> ah, we can't do this because we need a specific evil alignment. Fantastic clear this land of bandits. Okay. Right. Well, uh, oh, I haven't thought that much about. I, I, I started the character out at true neutral because I wanted to organically develop into um, an alignment. I think I think we'll yum 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 yum. I I think we'll be. You know, we don't have to kill anybody. Oh, right. Crestles of Wolves. Okay, sorry. I think I may have mixed up some of the voices. All right, we'll leave. But what makes you think we won't just return with greater numbers? Why will we leave when we've got easy pickings for rest of before us? We'll rip out your guts and empty your pockets. They should have 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, let's start with the hypnotism. Crowd control them. Wait. Damn it. Okay, I can't cast it. I need to worry. Really need to think more about the range. Well, in that case. Uh, you know what? Pump some magic missiles into the half orc. Ear piercing scream, there we go. Seems like a good shout to start there. Oh shit, They're going after him. Right, now we can rage. I don't think that'll be necessary right now. There we go. Arim. Repent. Honestly, Arim, he was, uh, let's see, what, what actually, is he dazed or what? Hold on. Whoop. Crossbow. Pump a shot into him. Serves you right. We missed. Oh well. Ah. Don't Don't die, idiot. Charge. Boom! There we go. That's the good stuff. And look, we gave them a chance. Ooh. Can we do the level ups now? Oh, we can do the level ups now! Gucci, Gucci! Okay, so. Right. I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, we can even straight straight up start multiclassing if we want. But, um, I think we'll, let's see, what kind of options do we have here? Hmm. Just do another level of Barbarian. That seems good. Right. Skills, skill points. Okie dokie. Uh, pump another one in athletics. Perception, nature, mobility. Yeah, this all seems good. Abilities, okay. Rage power. Right. Claw attacks, now she's got a big old sword. The focus her strikes, she gains a couple of to melee attack rolls with her weapons. Uh -huh. Reckless stance. One bonus, minus one penalty to armor class. Base speed. Dodge bonus. So, okay. Melee attack rolls and thrown weapon rolls. Dodge bonus. Plus one, is on, plus one bonus on attack rolls, but minus one penalty to armor. Wait, so how is. Well, for one, for every four. How's this one? Uh, takes a penalty, plus one to attack rolls. Okay. Okay, this one's untyped. This one is a competence bonus. Well, 
Oh, it's Animal Fury. Uh, the bite is made of Baron's full base attack bonus minus five. Plus half the. Okay, so that's an extra attack. I mean. This seems like probably the best the best one to go for. I don't think competence bonuses are that common. So I'll take that one. Okay. Right. I have been told that it's also advisable to pick up a mod to re-specialize the standard companion characters because they're not apparently very well assembled. But I'll worry about that some other time. We don't have much to pick there. Let's see. Now then. Uh, knowledge religion. Yeah, you are a de designated no, no stuff guy. Uh, it would be nice. Oh, jeez. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just stick it more in perception. I'm not expecting you to be that useful as a skill monkey. Really, we can't do much in the way of spells. Light, virtue, guidance. You're a dwarf. Why do you have light? I mean, you have light to help me out, I guess. But... It doesn't really make a lot of sense for a dwarf to have a light spell. Right then. Now, as for me... Boom, another level of sorcerer. I, until we can, I don't know, go down... Arcade Trickster? I'm not a... I don't, don't... I'm not that happy with that idea. Eldritch Knight might potentially be worth it. I don't know how much spellcasting we give up for that. Yeah, well, I mean, just straight, just straight sorcerer for now. Seems good. Skills. Yeah, arcana, world, persuasion. Uh, use magic device. I kind of also want some perception, though. I think some more perceptions, good. Right. Skills. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I also actually have light. Huh, I have a lot more spells than I thought I did. Fair enough. I guess it just kits you up with a base set of cantrips. I always have the upper hand. Huh. Disrupt undead is nice to have on there. And also just yeah, give me give me days, give me jolts, just put it all on there. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't. Just until I have something better to to put on there, I might as well just put everything on there right now then yeah continue barding up it seems good right then uh knowledge arcana definitely knowledge world trickery most certainly give me some stealth up in his house um, I'll do the talking. I don't need you to be that persuasive. Use magic device is useful. 
also have some. No, we don't need everybody to have perception. Yeah, take a rank in mobility for plus nine. That that first skill rank bonus is important. There we go. Abilities. What do we get there? Canny observer. Ooh, perception plus four. Combat trick. Iron guts. Terrain mastery. Huh. Meh. Ooh, that, that suddenly makes perception way more interesting. We also want her to be in the knowledge. Do all the knowledge stuff. Trickery is important. I want that first time mobility bonus. Ah, I think we'll leave perception out of it for now. We'll, we'll, we'll pick perception up later. Canning Observer. Could do skill focus. Yeah, take the skill focus and trickery. I want that. Skill focus and trickery. Spells. Okay, you can get an extra spell right now. Ooh, so many fun choices. Let's see. Uh, Expeditious Retreat. Grease is always fun. Haze of Dreams. Uh -huh. Right, and then one. Okay. Uh, moves at half speed, multiple hits. Okay. Mm hmm. Cute. Sleep. Summon monster one. Hmm. Vanish is a pretty neat trick to have. Just if I need somebody to be safeguarded, she can make herself or them invisible. Seems like it also suits her character. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> so all that aside. Right, we'll collect all this. A trading post, we should be able to sell stuff here, right? I do things my way. Take that, scoundrels! Oleg shakes his fist. But now he scratches his head and stares at the gun gloomy. Girl got away. A plague on her, there's certain. She started to complain to the stack lord. They came here be before to collect taxes. This time they come here to punish treason. Now what are we to do? He sighs heavily. If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe to show those rats what's what. And show those rats what. Blah, 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 blah. No severe haired woman approached. Duh, why are you here? I told you to stay hidden! <laughs> Excuse me. It's all over. I saw it. I just need to be sure that you are alright. The woman looks at her husband tenderly, with a hint of sorrow. Oleg mumbles something as he looks away, embarrassed. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry for your arrival to our... Uh, I'm sorry your arrival to our trading post turned out so... unwelcoming. Uh, um, hmm, options, options, options. Let's see. I saw someone run out of the trading post. Do you know who it was? Let's see. Let's do that first. And Bokken, he sells potions. He lives out in the forest like a hermit, but he comes every day. He knows every tree and every bush in the area and how they can help you. The Stag Lord's gang wants him to work for them. He lacks the courage to fight those bandits, but he won't just walk away from us. He's, he has a good heart, even if he grumbles a lot, especially recently. Ah, that's good intel. 
Um, oh look, I'd like to see your goods. Don't know what good trading will serve if those bloodsuckers come back and take everything, but alright, have a look. Yeah, so... I have so much... So much jazz to sell. Oh my. Like a whole bunch of armors. Yeah, sure, padded armor, a bunch of random daggers. Uh, wait, can we... Right, let's... Random weaponry. A bunch of random daggers. Long bow, short bow, sure, we'll sell some of these short bows. Hey, you great axe, where did we pick that up? Long swords. Sure, we, we don't need this much random, random junk. Yeah, we don't need that, we don't need that. <clears throat> if we can get rid of that. Having, like, maybe keeping a chain shirt is useful. It might be... Oh, hey, I identified the braces of armor. That's useful to, uh, to know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Notable. Yeah, I think we might keep Tartuccio's present. That could still be useful. Right. <laughs> let's see, anything particularly noteworthy that he... Ooh, a ring of protection plus one. Very nice. Meta magic rod of reach. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Comprehensive guide to cooking delicious fish. You know what? I'll take that. Surely you would pay more than. Maybe we maybe this is the wrong merchant to sell gems to. Rusty horseshoe, sure. Huh. Camping supplies and rations, which we have four of. I think we'll take one extra set of camping supplies and rations. Actually, two extra sets, just in case. Ooh, bag of holding! <gasps> Want! But there's no way that we can earn enough money that right now. We'll do this. There we go. That eases our weight a little bit. Is there any way to sort this? Price descending order. Fair enough. I right, just type in ascending order. Okay. 
And I do think it's time that we indeed inventory. I would really like to wear those bracers. And this is a an armor bonus. Fine. And yeah, you know what? I'll take this. I mean, I was right. Sneaky bastard planted that ring on us for a reason. I assumed it was cursed, but... Hmm. Right. Let's get to the point. You say the bands are going to attack again. Who are they and when will they arrive? Staglord's gang, yeah. <clears throat> oh, right. Let's go back to the voice acting. Who are they? They're the Staglord's gang. That's who... These lands teem with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's hut. Are you just stirred them up? They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return full force in half a day. Maybe less. The stag lord won't take an insult like this lightly. Its henchmen are more like demons than men. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, you have nothing to fear. <laughs> no, 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 we're 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 not we're not a paladin. Um, I'll help you. I'm not really interested in your post, but I never back down from a good fight. Eh, okay, potentially that seems like something that we might say. Lawful evil. Eh, no, we're not that much of a dick. So, I mean, this is the protection money, but give me the intel. What do they want? They're supposed to think they own this land. They come, uh, take what they want, steal the better part of our money. Every month as a, uh, as a toll for their leader. They even broke our gates so we couldn't try to hide anything from them. No one knows exactly how many there are. Sometimes only five or six come. Sometimes there's a whole gang. I'd have shown them what for long ago, if not for Svetlana. I mean, where we're gonna help them. I'll help you. I'm not really interested in your post, but I never back down from a good fight. <sighs> well, thanks, I guess. Might even be able to scrape some sort of reward together for you if you manage to defend the post. Uh, we have to hide Svetlana. Please don't argue, Dub. Now we also need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for the battle. There are plenty of solid traps. Uh, around some tar, a box of alchemist fire, the like. Ooh. And uh, we could put by the gates, light off with burning arrows. Those bandits are uh, when the bandits are nearby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I say that seems like a good booby trap. Uh, maybe cover the walls or something to protect them. Stick that could work. Even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be pretty good with a crossbow back in my day. Okay. Um, right, I'd say we're prepared for the attack. Finally, a fight! I was bored with all that talking. These aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. Lindsay, we're level 2! Girl, we're level 2! Fighting bandits and giant rats in, 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 in cellars is kind of what we do at this point, okay? Don't expect too much from me right at the start. I see you're not easily cowed. I beg you be careful and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Ma'am, I'll keep him alive. Svetlana, go hide inside. We're going to meet our guests. Six hours and 14 minutes later. <laughs> Aye, right, that seems like a that seems like a good way to start. Right, uh, Amiri, rage, charge, go. Ah, that's the good shit. Oh, they brought an elf. Hey, 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 hey. No shooting the friendly NPC. He's a friendly NPC. 
Right, hey, we are going to hit Inspire Courage. And we're going to move up a little bit closer. So that we can cover the entire battle. Actually, we've got a pretty good spot right here by the looks of it. I'll move a little bit closer because... I'm not sure what the range increments are on these weapons. How exactly it's calculated in the UI yet, so... But I'm assuming range increments are a thing. Oh, critical hit. Yeah, no, we we got to we got to save Oleg. Okay. Can we Ugh. Like I really want to not hit um ah uh, cuz this is a f it's a full yeah. We can't cast Hypnotism right now. We need to first move... We need to move closer. See, as much as I don't want to, to really chuck the Hypnotism at a good angle. Alright. One creature within medium range. I mean, that seems like, a, you know, casting Blindness... Casting blindness on the archer seems like a good shout. Ah, shit! Alright, we really need to, we really need to heal him up. Yeah, attack of opportunity. Get fucked, bruh. And can we? Oh, let's see. I think we just need to charge. Ah, there's nobody in charge in charge range, I guess. Maybe we can charge. This no. Purpose is different. Okay. Let's see. What else do you have here? Demoralize. Yeah, okay. Sure. What do we? Um, Channel positive energy. You know what? Yeah. That's definitely worth it right now. I mean, sure, we, we healed them up a little bit too, but we need to do anything we can to keep Oleg alive. That's, that's currently my objective. Yeah, Amiri, go, go protect Oleg. I catch a char all right. Come on, sure. Tear them apart! Yeah, I don't care if you provoke an attack of opportunity. Protect Oleg. Oh, I have decided we are clearly good aligned now. Oh shit, is he dead? Oh no, he's dead. Uh, I am tempted to save scum. Should I save scum? I am going to save scum. I'm going to save scum. I'm, I'm going to protect Oleg. That's that's the plan. Yeah. So I, I, that's where I'll end uh, this part, part one of episode two. And I'm just going to announce it. I am going to save Scum. I want to see what happens when you keep Oleg alive through this encounter. So yeah, safe scumming it is. See you in the next one. Brrr.